Hello everyone, welcome back to X Machines channel. Since the 1960s, the oil and gas industry has made rapid progress in the prospecting, extraction, transportation and refining of oil and gas. These advances have allowed these energy-rich fossil fuels to overtake coal as the world's main source of energy. Since then, there have been many advances and developments in renewable energy such as wind energy, solar energy. But fossil fuels including coal, oil and gas still account for more than 80% of the world's primary energy consumption. Every day, the world consumes about 100 million barrels of oil and 60 million barrels of natural gas equivalent. To transport this huge amount of energy, pipelines, usually made of carbon steel, are widely used. In this video, X Machines will take you to explore in detail the entire process, from production to installation of oil and gas pipelines. Let's see how they did it. First, let's visit Egypt, where IPEX factory is located. It is a manufacturer of large diameter submerged arc vertical pipe, SAWL, from 16 inch to 60 inch, all steels up to X80 for energy, oil and gas and other projects. Here we will learn the details of the steel pipe manufacturing process. As the three roll bending MC forming 80% from full roundness of the pipe, the post bending MC crimps the pipe longitudinal straight edges to achieve 100% roundness. First welding station. In this station the pipe seam edges are joined together by continuous weld. The machine is also designed to adjust misalignment, high slash low and offset between the two edges prior to internal welding. Automatic submerged arc welding process using three or four wires. Two welding machines are working parallel to achieve higher productivity. Final welding stage for the external side of the pipe seam. Two automatic submerged arc welding machines using four wires. First inspection stage. Overall visual inspection applied to the pipe internal and external surfaces including weld seams. The machine is designed for adjusting pipe roundness and straightness, this process also recover the base metal mechanical properties. As per API 5 liter specifications, the manufactured pipe should be tested hydrostatically, to a certain pressure identified by the specification, automatic hydro testing MC capable to perform the test up to 320 bar.
first inspection station after cold expanding and hydro testing, shear angle sound beams, UT, inspection to be applied, to assure the solidity of the pipe seam weld before final inspection. X-ray real-time station is for inspection of seam weld, after, a two full scan of the pipe seam weld applied for verification, of any comments from the previous citation, and pipe ends radiograph to assure that pipe ends are free of defects. For pipe ends preparation to the required angle, and root face according to the project specifications. The station is consists of two end beveling machine work together at the same time. Visual and dimensional check applied to the final product. This inspection stage includes pipe length measuring, pipe weighing, pipe straightness and ovality measurement in addition to overall visual inspection of pipes internal and external surfaces, then pipes to be marked by API monogram and all project data. Depending on the different construction needs of oil and gas pipelines, steel pipes will be coated with a coating to prevent corrosion. This coating will protect the pipeline to help the pipeline have a long life. Commonly used coatings are fusion bonded epoxies and or concrete. The finished pipes will then be transported to the construction material gathering place ready for the next pipeline construction process. Next, X Machines will take you to visit the offshore pipeline installation process, carried out by Alsis Group SA. Alsis Group is a Switzerland-based offshore contractor specializing in pier construction, heavy lifts and undersea construction. Up to now, Alsis has installed over 27,000 km of subsea pipeline worldwide using SLA technology. SLA is characterized by its fast installation process and its application in all water depths. This is the oldest and the most commonly used method for offshore pipeline installation. The S refers to the shape the pipe forms between the vessel and the seabed as it is laid. In the SLA method, Single lengths of steel pipe, joints, are welded, inspected and coated in a horizontal working plane, firing line, on board a pipely vessel. As the vessel moves forward, the pipe gradually exits the firing line, curving downward through the water until it reaches the touchdown point on the seabed. As more pipe is paid out, under its own weight it assumes the S-shaped curve. The curvature of the upper section of the pipeline, the overbend, is controlled by a stinger, a steel structure with rollers protruding from the end of the firing line to prevent buckling of the pipe. The curvature in the lower section of the pipeline, the sag bend, is controlled by pipe tensioners, caterpillar tracks that grip the pipe. The amount of tension is one of the most important factors in the capabilities of an S lay vessel. Each joint of pipeline is welded on the installation vessel and eased off the boat. A stringer located at the stern, whose length can be up to 300 feet, helps supports the pipeline when it is transferred into the sea. Some installation barges can be equipped with an adjustable stringer which is used to control the length of a stringer. This stinger is vulnerable to damage in bad weather. The SLA method can handle the full range of pipe sizes and it is considered most suited to water depth around 2,000 feet, 600 meters, of water depth. The pipeline is welded horizontally in a fire line. Depending on the vessel capacity, speed of laying the pipe can be up 6 to 8 kilometers per day and the pipe size can be up to 60 in diameter.
This method requires high longitudinal tension in order to avoid excessive bending at the touchdown point, sag bend, and the departure point, over bend. Two ways that restrict ability to quickly change a route direction are high tension and long layback distance. One of the most critical pieces of equipment is the pipe tension, which will keep the pipe in the required tension while laying pipe with the S-lay method. Departure angle at a stinger is typically about 30-40 degree reference to the horizontal plan. However, the angle can be increased to 60-70 degree in deep water operation. Over bend radius is proportional to the departure angle and inversely proportional to lay tension. The over bend is controlled by a stinger. Sag bend radius is inversely proportional to lay tension and proportional to suspended weight of pipeline. Proper tension must be maintained while laying the pipeline, otherwise risk of buckling will drastically increase. When tension is not sufficient, the sag bend will increase. Hence, the chance of buckling is higher in the sag bending area. Even though longitudinal tension is minimum, hydrostatic pressure at this point reaches almost maximum. <laughs>